The game plan for me is always to be my real self but the dynamic between me and Ahmad, I felt that I had to hold it back. The, the feeling of being controlled is, is just so uncomfortable. As an artist, as a designer, I really know what I'm to do. I don't like to be told uh, in terms of what I can do to my house. For artists, they have their own thinking and they have their own preferences. <laughs> I think, I think that, that, that's a very big thing. Claire tried to relate to me, but she never captured the essence of uh, me as a persona. She didn't sell me anything of emotions, which really uh, was a big turn off. <gasps> I really appreciate that Sean uh, pointed out the accessible uh, material that he was used to design this house. He took the initiative to put that into a factor uh, for my persona. Sean really cared about what I advocate for, my brand and my personal lifestyle. It really resonates me, yeah. Your showcase truly appealed to the designer and him. That's why you are the winner of today's challenge. Congratulations, Sean! I feel a lot, a lot more empowered by winning this because I feel like a more evolved version of myself and I think I'm going to do what it takes to win this finale. For the next challenge, I'm definitely going to bring my 200% of effort. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Well, it's one, one, one. One more challenge, one last sprint, one last turbo, 100% all out. Let me do my thing, way too much, no time to think. At first we diving in, let me get ready, get up, get ready, yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, Charlie. Good. Good. Well, you've all shown some skill and determination so far. Very impressive. But this is the grand finale, the moment that you've all been working towards. How do you feel? Sean seems pretty confident he won the last challenge. So he's like, I'm going to get this. How about you? Very, very nervous can... about this challenge. Same. I don't really know what to expect, so... Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so let's just dive right into it. Your final task is selling prestige. All three of you will be presenting the same luxury home to our special client. You barely have one hour to explore the property. So it's all about spotting key details and thinking on your feet. Let's talk about our VIP client for the grand finale. It's me! Oh, really? <laughs> oh my gosh! Please be kind. Yes, oh, <laughs> kind I shall not be. I'm looking for a pitch that showcases the finer details and the unique selling points of this property. Convince me why this property stands out in a market full of luxury houses. I'll be expecting nothing less than perfection. Remember, you're competing for $15,000 worth of property guru credit. This is it. Are you ready to make a home run? Yeah. Yes. Let's get started. As our agents gear up to showcase their most prestigious piece of real estate yet, let's take a sneak peek. So this is a place? Mm, yes. Ooh. Wow. Welcome to an extraordinary oasis of luxury at Sentosa Cove. This $18 million home sits on prime waterfront land, the epitome of luxury in Singapore's most exclusive island community. One hour? What can I do in one hour? I can't even Google in one hour. I was feeling very nervous because one hour is a very short time to know such a big property. I'm very excited going to the finale, but at the same time, I'm very nervous because the current property itself is also something which is out of my comfort zone. This theme, this category is always something that I wanted to do in my career. So I'm just very excited to wrap it all up very nicely at the end. I'm definitely experienced selling luxury properties because I take care of large properties and investment portfolios. However, I'm definitely not going to be overconfident and really just give it my all to win this competition. Wow! Love, love, love! Ding! <laughs> so when Shani shared with us the challenge and also she's the VIP client, I was very shocked. I am pretty nervous because Charlene is obviously a very experienced property agent and it won't be easy selling to her. Coming to this competition, right, in the real world, actually I'm a winning agent. I win all my clients, I win all the time. But in the first two rounds, I lost and I thought, is there a problem with how I'm doing things? But I think it's all about having an open mind, taking in a lot of feedback. I think this is something that I will take away for life. Meeting Nadia and Sean, they are like one of my greatest blessings. We actually can click very well and we vibe very well and I really learned a lot from them, not just like as friends but also as agents. And I just want to say like, well they are very good in what they do, so this makes me want to step up my game even more. 
this final challenge is definitely so nerve-wracking. It is tough, but okay, I have my family at the back of my head. I'm doing this for them because they are my backbone and they're always there to support me. So okay guys, I guess today's the day. <laughs> is the finale. Yes, are you guys ready? Kind of. I'm so proud of you guys. I think Aww. you guys have been doing really well. I wish you guys all the best, okay? I love you guys. Yes. Okay? All the best. All the best. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Hi, Tanya. Throughout this whole show, I've been watching buyers get shown the house. Today, I was the buyer getting shown. It's actually really different. So, firstly, if you give the buyer too much information, they kind of zoned out. Um, if the information is wrong, you seem really ill-prepared. For this bungalow, right, it's actually 7,351 square feet. Land size, built up is about 8,003. Six bedrooms with four on suite. It's essentially the same house, essentially the same information that you're spewing, but the delivery, their personality made the three presentations also different. So now we're at the level one, as you can see, it's very big. When you finish the house, right, it's kind of easy. You are able to segment the house. I love the fact that they have an island kitchen mm -hmm. because this is definitely very interesting and very ideal when you have your clients over, maybe your favourite clients or your best friends. I wanted Charlene to see that I am able to sell big spaces. I've taken in all her feedbacks and I think today I did a little bit better. So besides having a pool, the waterway <sighs> view. Right. Oh, yes. Okay. Where we are standing right here, mm. okay, we are just seeing only the waterway. Yeah. Imagine you on the other properties, you'll be seeing maybe your neighbours. Yes. But right mm. here is an unblocked Great view point. from us. Right. Am I right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, shall we move on to the next floor? Okay. Are we yeah. done? Are we going out to the pool? Do you want to go out to the pool? It's hot, but I'm fine. We can go out to the pool. So, level one, I think I started off very well. It's just that, uh, the point where I procrastinated about going outdoor, then there was like a moment of like um, creek creek kind. <laughs> yeah. It's up to you what you wanted to All right. show. I'm just I'm just con concerned for you. My skin. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so you've got the pool. Can you imagine having the barbecue? Yes. I feel that the um, architect of this house is really clever because. They have it all, the uh, full glass, so that they do not compromise what they're paid for, which is the view. You know, which is a very nice view. For Nadia, she was upbeat and bubbly, although her presentation is factually weaker. This room is very spacious, as you can see, and I believe that the architect do not want to waste the view. Again, you are not missing out on the view. With the view, with the economics of the room. Nice, right? Yes. It's a dream. Exactly. <laughs> kinda skimmed the surface, kinda showing, but her personality made up for it. Some people who really love art, you would mm. also put some pieces over here. It actually leads you to this area. Mm -hmm. I feel that this area is good to become a gallery. I really love the idea. Oh, really? Yes. You see oh, what you love. Like, I'm excited you see already. What you love. Okay. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say that I'm 100% satisfied with my performance because I think there are certain points when I actually triggered the questions for Charlene to ask when I actually don't have the answer. <gasps> I think maybe I should get myself a yacht. So, how yeah? many yachts can you park on this bird? I believe it's one, mm. but maybe I should check that one as well for you. Okay. I love this. Okay, what's that? It's Bloom, you know, right? Bloom give warranty. Yep. So Is this a warranty really for the house? Warranty for the house? I'm not so sure, but I believe there should. I actually like the idea of this feature. It looks like a window, but it's actually a feature. What is it for? I, I feel it's just basically part of the architect or just to the design of the house. Yeah. So another yeah. floor, another yes. two flights of stairs. Any yes. lift? No lift. Any lift provision? Oh, I have to check about that. Again, I'm not sure. London is not my forte. So there's a lot of things that I... My answers had to be, I will check. Her strength obviously is in HDB. But today, when it was really difficult and really out of her usual zone, she did shine. So she showed a lot of resilience and growth. Very commendable. Especially because it was the last challenge, it was like my last chance to impress her. So I really, really went all out. 
and also at the very same time wanted to strike myself as a client-centric kind of agent. So this is basically, I think, where the action most happens. Okay. So here is the eight-seater dining. Otherwise, mm. you can switch it out for like a round table, some mm. Chinese families like that. My husband loves round table. But this space, you're right, long and round fits the space. Correct. Mm. It's like big enough to do whatever that you want to do. I think this house is a very good um, canvas to build your dreams on. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. I was trying to sell like dream, like a blank canvas where she can do anything her heart desires for this kind of condos where clients are of this kind of quantum, they can actually build the house to their own preference, which is what I really wanted to convey to her. For mm. Ocean Drive, right, mm. there are two premium selling points. One is either you're facing the sea, mm -hmm. second one is you got above to park your yacht. Yes. You can actually do stand up paddling here. Oh, hmm. I actually just now, like right before you came, yeah. I saw like two fellas, they were like stand-up paddling My kids and there. husband love stand-up paddling. Yeah. So they never have to, okay. So this is the really beauty of Sentosa because mm. it's very quiet, it's exclusive. The good thing about this unit is that we are tucked in one corner, so mm -hmm. we are actually mm -hmm. not part of the mm -hmm. main area mm -hmm. that's, that's serving the main traffic. Yes. You mm -hmm. can actually see the garden. You yeah. can actually see your 20 meters pool. I assume, um, this will be utilised by your family quite a bit because you do have children, right? Yes, that's yeah. true. Do they swim a lot? They can swim and can swim very well, but they don't swim often enough. Oh. Maybe because we don't have access to a pool every day. Oh. Yeah, so the your doorstep, they okay. probably will. Yeah. Understand. Clear shortcomings, less, but maybe just some facts that I asked that maybe she didn't have the answers for. These are actually Luba um, windows, so mm. these are Although it's just aesthetic. Mm. Do you or think it's you just it aesthetic? Hmm. Charlene did ask uh, tough questions, but I think at the back of my mind, I didn't want to give like wrong information. So instead of just like immediately go and blabber something, I did really like pause and just think about it. It looks like just aesthetic, but there might be other use. Mm. So let me check on this. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Basically, this is the balcony. They've already done up the decking and also at the very same time, I don't want to share with you this. This is the view and the airflow of each unit. Okay. But for ours, it's unblocked. Mm. This is actually the premium feature of the entire unit. Right there on the left is actually the shuttle bus station. So mm. that goes to Sentosa Co Village. Then three minutes from there is Keyside Isle when you can go and enjoy beautiful breakfast food. You seem to think I like breakfast a lot. Oh, you don't like breakfast? Which is good. Yes, no, I, do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. I actually go and ask the security guard and then I also called my friends who are staying in Sentosa Cove to share with me their experiences as uh, residents here. That's how I actually got my information to share with Charlene. If you don't mind, maybe ask you a few questions. Yes, yes, of course I don't mind. Please so, do. What's important to you in the property so that I can make this viewing really like more relevant to you? My main agenda was to try to understand Charlene, how I could relate to her, more so than how I could sell the property. Maybe just three main things. One is quality of light. That's pretty important. And then the space flow. It doesn't have to be too big. But let's say if it's an awkward space or doesn't flow nicely, it's a bit uncomfortable for me. And lastly, I think the quality of the fixtures and fittings has to be of good quality. Maybe do me one favour. Yes. Don't view this property with your eyes. But you know, let's try to envision how we are able to create a lifestyle here. Read how... my heart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the living and dining area. One thing I really like is that there's not too much setback at this corner of the house mm -hmm. so that you are able to see at, on this side mm -hmm. all the extra space is over here. Yes, that's a good point, true. So okay. you have a really nice space over here, yes. very, very wide space, right? That very this long, can be yes. an extension from the living room. Yeah. How far away is it from the wall? What's the setback? Oh, okay. See? From this wall? He brought out his laser tool to measure on the spot. I think what could have been better is he could have measured all the distances and have it in his head to proceed to answer when he was asked. We're heading into the master room. Pulling mirrors, I like. You can see it's a nice space that, yes. that of course fulfill one of the very important conditions you have. Which is? Quality of light. Ah. Not just in the, from the front, but also from the side. This is actually the east side okay. of the house. Uh -huh. So you get some morning sun. What yes. I really, really like about this this room is that there are different spaces mm. and in different corners of the room mm. that you are able to sit
and actually for Sean's um, personality, it was really less like almost like a rifle kind of um, machine gun kind of. I want to tell you everything. Blah, 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 blah. For the room upstairs, mm. it's actually perfect for yoga or exercise room. Ah. During the showcase, by looking at her face, it was very difficult to tell how she felt. I don't know whether she likes the viewing or not. There's also a lot of flexibility uh, yeah. to what you can do to that room. It can also be like a lounge, yeah. it can be a gym. Yeah. The floor loading is for sure enough. I felt like I was being shot at some point. I because he gave me so much information, I asked him more as well. So it seemed like I asked him the hardest questions. I see there's no lift. Yeah, yeah. Is, is a lift important to you in the house? It can be. Is there any provision for a lift? I think the most challenging part of this showcase is the different categories of questions Charlene is throwing me at one single point in time. As much as I have the answer at the back, it takes some time for me to change that perspective. There are two ways we can do them. Mm -hmm. Number one is we can do a punch through inside of the house. Where? But that would not be my recommendation. Okay. Because it will kind of eat into the the living area. Okay. What we can do is we are able to add a lift right outside here mm -hmm. um, so that you can access the lift from level 1 to level 3 um, from the outside. He actually gave me two options and said that one option was more superior than the other. That impressed me. Because if you were put to put the lift where Claire mentioned, it pokes right through the landing of the staircase. Another alteration that you can do, right? Mm. You can actually take down and then do a lift here. But wouldn't it eat into the landing for the staircase? Uh, this time you need to re restructure the staircase. Restructure the staircase. Correct. To bring a staircase elsewhere, which means you have to change the floor plan of the second and third floor. Massive work. Might as well tear down the house. Um, I think the lift is important, hmm. but let's study the floor plan and find the yeah. okay. most suitable place that we can, can do the least amount of work and spend the least amount of money sure. to put it in. So that concludes our viewing. Do you have any other question? Actually, I do. Mm. So my husband, he's a foreigner. Oh. In Singapore, foreigners come by landed homes, but I want to put this house in his name. How would I go about doing it? Actually, in Sentosa, foreigners can buy landed homes. For Sentosa Cove, right? Um, foreigners can buy. Your husband is actually eligible to buy okay. because um, Sentosa is a place where the Singapore government uh, launched so that foreigners are able to purchase mm -hmm. landed properties. Mm -hmm. You just need to pay the ABSD because right now there's tax for foreigners is sixty mm. percent. Mm -hmm. mm. But then we still have the other house on the mainland. Then maybe we rent out this first. Do you think you can help me with it? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Um, you help me with the rental? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. For sure. I'll be happy to help you rent out this house. Great. I'm so happy. Unfortunately, all of them got it wrong. Come on, come on. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. We well, are very relaxed, huh? The yes. pressure is off. Yes, indeed. How do you guys feel about the challenge today? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now the pressure's on. Well, I must say all of you guys brought your A-game. Super, super, super. Oh. I was very impressed. Level was like way off the charts. It was very hard to make the decision. But let's go through the reviews. Let's start off with Nadia. I felt that we had great rapport. And I could understand what the buyers were saying the past three episodes that you were very personable, you're very relatable. I felt it. That being said, I did ask you questions along the way and you said that you get back to me, which is great. That is very fair. However, it's a challenge, so maybe some of this information could be researched better. Yeah. Strangely enough, you wanted to protect me from the sun. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't so keen to bring me out to the pool. To be honest, the pool's really a unique selling point. People pay millions of dollars to buy a house with a pool. You know, I might actually dare say that the pool in this house is more important than the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Sean. I like the way you opened. You asked me what do I look for in a house. You addressed the quality of light. However, the other two points did show up in the house, but you didn't bring it up to me, so I feel that is a missed opportunity. One interesting point which I like is you brought your laser measuring tool. However, maybe you should take it one step more and measure before the showing so that you would come across as prepared. At certain points, I felt you were talking over me. You were expanding on your point, but I kind of zoned out. It's more of a conversation rather than a presentation. Get some verbal cues from the buyers, see how the conversation flows from there. One really good point I want to say I'm royally impressed was when I asked you about the provision for the lift. 
You gave me two options and you also told me why one option is superior, which is outside the balcony next to the pool. And I'm very impressed because that's the exact same answer that I gave to a buyer when they asked me where I should put the lift. So, A star to that. That was really good. Yes. Okay, next up, Claire, are you ready? <laughs> okay. Honestly, I was very impressed by the amount of research you did on the house. And then you pointed out to the shuttle bus then, then I could see it. So not only about the points good, the delivery time was also perfect. You also pointed out the unique selling points of the house. One was, you said, the 20 meter pool, which in my head, I was thinking, oh, actually it's quite decent, can do laps. And then lastly, how you could stand up paddleboard on the waterway. These are really unique points that wasn't brought up in any other presentation. You're meant to sell prestige, and you brought up how this plot was a premium plot, and also how this house was better than the rest of the houses in the area. So that also stepped up your presentation. On that part, when we're talking about the panels in the master bedroom, most of the time, elements in a house or a condo is there for a reason. If you don't know what it's about, maybe don't talk about it, because you just you would stump yourself. Let's come to the point where I ask you guys all the same question. Can a foreigner own a landed property in Singapore? And can you guys help me rent it out? Yes! Uh-huh. So yes, a foreigner can own a landed property in Singapore, but only in Sentosa Cove. I take it as all you guys answered right. And secondly, can a foreigner rent out his landed property after he's bought it? I can't believe I said yes, even after he's gotten LDAU approval. Exactly. Gosh. Yes. Did you realise that? I was too excited no. when I even tell you, like, give me a call. I guess agents, when they hear business, they're very happy to do it. Yeah. So that's another. <laughs> yeah, Beauty exactly. Nobody answered it right. One, two, three, all wrong. Okay, so with that being said, you guys were all on a level playing field, even right to the end. It was a very tough decision, but there can only be one winner of the home run. So, if you remember, there were three tasks that you had to accomplish in this challenge. One was selling prestige. Two, pick out the unique selling points. And thirdly, give me a perfect pitch why this house is better than the rest of the houses in the luxury market. And there was only one agent who nailed all three points. And with that, the first ever star agent of Home Run Singapore is... Claire! Congratulations, you have hit a home run! The last and final offer, congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yay! Wow, actually, I'm very happy. Uh. I think I cannot sleep tonight already. <laughs> Job well done. Commendations to all three of you. If there was no two other agents, any one of you, it would have been like Easter. Oh my god, this experience is so valuable. An opportunity once in a lifetime. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you Home Run Singapore for this unforgettable experience. Congratulations, girl. Thank you. Sure, sure, sure. And Sean, I see a lot of hard questions because when I asked you one question, you answered. So I went again and I went again until you couldn't answer them. Wow, I thought, I was like, wow, my God, I got grilled, man. Oh, yeah, I really grilled. Like, wow, I got grilled. Really? Uh, I was like, why got so many difficult questions? One? The most challenging part of this entire competition for me truly was the first day when I was required to dance. Actually, that was the, 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 the worst part. I, I almost cried. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank Home Run Singapore for this opportunity. It's a new beginning and the start of some wonderful friendships. This win is also like an affirmation that my hard work is enough. So I'm very proud and very happy to be the first winner of Home Run Singapore. <laughs> very grateful. Thank you so much. It's all about